So if you haven't already embraced the um, CSS variables or CSS custom properties in your um, style sheets, um, I've come up against a pretty interesting uh, way to use it or like a very kind of useful common, common use case. So I've got some kind of simple uh, CSS here. This is for a, a block quote, Gutenberg block. And what I'm trying to do here is to create two different, I've got two different styles. So I've got like a, there's an is large um, style as well. I think this is this is large as um, from a previous like deprecated uh, version. Um, but what I've done, you can, I've, I've set up uh, SAS variables here. So quote spacing and quote spacing large. And then, you know, I can use the quote spacing large within this, within this style. There's a better way to do this with uh, CSS custom properties. So I just thought I would, I would show you that. So all we have to do is create our custom property in here. So we can just call this, uh, it's probably not the greatest naming convention ever. A um, couple of things we need to remember. So I'm creating the variable. That's not going to work. Um, so I need to do, I would need to do this. And because this is in code pen actually, and I don't actually have any HTML to test on, I'm going to have to assume this is going to work. Uh, I think it is. Uh, okay, so we can just set up our, our quote spacing. So that's this guy up here. And then instead of creating a second variable for large, let's just delete that. Um, uh, and then we need to use this new variable here. So var quote spacing, uh, use it again here. And this is, this is where it gets useful. So instead of redeclaring our margin top and margin bottom, we're just going to leave those um, being set to the custom property. And all we're going to do is change the custom property. So I'm just going to grab grab the quote spacing property. And then I'm going to redefine that as times three. So we've only we've saved. Um, oh, and we can now get rid of that. So we've got, we set up our quote spacing custom property. Um, we use it here to set the margin top and margin bottom. And then whenever uh, we have a certain style applied, we just change the variable and that automatically updates the margin top and margin bottom. And you can see there we saved, I don't know, uh, a handful of lines of code, but that's just a lot cleaner. And now any, if I wanna change this variable, I can just do it right in here just for the large styles, yeah, kind of where it makes sense to do it. Hope that was useful. Stay tuned for more. Thanks. Bye.